Okay, here we find ourselves with another article and we are at medical news again and this one has to do with New Year's resolutions and I bring this up just to simply ask you the question have you made New Year's resolutions and here it is the end of January and uh, they've already, you've already quote failed unquote. Well let me look over these suggestions first of all any time of the year is a good time to make a healthy lifestyle change. Lots of people when they make resolutions either make a resolution to save or make more money, something financial, get out of debt, or they make a health resolution. Well, if you've made a health resolution, I'm able to help you with that as a life and wellness coach. And you can go to my blog, uh, the tribalcouncilonline.com, and you can rent me for an hour, and I'll help you work things out. And I can also be a support person for you. I have a method of doing this via text message, but you have to ask me about that most important thing here is any times a good year the beginning of the new year simply offers an easy to identify traditional time to change this is a guy by the name of Mannard who is a professor in a college uh, at SLU wherever that is I can't remember we'll look at that in a minute what's most important he says is that the individual has the necessary time and energy to devote to making these changes any change you make requires energy so they recommend that you set attainable goals, have a support system, and hold yourself accountable. And that's what a coach can do, is help you with accountability. Plus, they can advise you on setting attainable goals and lining up your support system. The most important thing for you to do is to realize that if you have a system and you set your goals small enough, you can make big changes just by making any change at all. Because uh, when you try to make a huge change and fail and then quit and don't do anything again till New Year's you've lost the whole year so try to think about this in small steps one of the first things I try to get people to do is just change their bedtime to see a different way of going to bed and going to sleep so that they get more rest that by itself will cause them to lose weight just getting more sleep and getting it on a regular basis and that doesn't mean going to bed at midnight and sleeping till nine. It means going to bed at nine, getting up at six, and going to work, uh, and being uh, more alert and uh, uh, stronger, healthier as a result of that. You want to set an attainable goal, which means little steps that you can do. And as you accomplish one step and can do it regularly, then you can add other steps. And I have a blueprint for success that I help you to fill out. And we go through a number of brainstorming uh, sessions in order to help you to find the steps that are most important to you now that you're most committed to and what I find sometimes is, is even though people want to lose weight what they're really committed to is something else and by helping them commit to that it, it bolsters their ability to lose weight in other ways so we have to decide what's the best goal for you now what's the best step to take towards accomplishing that goal and uh, who can help you with that and how can you be accountable they recommend making an appointment with your doctor and verbalizing your goals will help hold you accountable uh, look at your family physician as your coach well that's pretty tough because you just really don't have access to them I happen to practice medicine and it's pretty tough for me to coach someone from my position as a health care provider we're on the same team with the same results you need to be positive and you need to persevere and SLU is St. Louis University School of Medicine so that's where these folks who are uh, quoted here are, are uh, from. Alright so let's go over those points again. Set attainable goals. One, have a support system. Two, hold yourself accountable. Three, be positive. Four, and persevere. Five, I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. How about leaving me a note?